And here's another adventure in form design, um, and this is when you let someone else do the coding, and then you can think about really designing your form in terms of what kinds of questions are you going to ask, what kind of data do you need, what kind of data do you want. So you let Google or SurveyMonkey or maybe Doodle or um, you can probably get uh, WordPress plugins that will create feedback forms that you could put in WordPress. You let one of these other services do the coding and then you can really think about your form. So what we're looking at here is a test form that I just created using Google and you can see it's powered by Google Docs um, and um, if but if we look at the code we don't see the uh, the HTML um, coding that we were looking at before we just see this link to Google Docs and that's where the form actually is um, it's not um, uh, on my web page, um, this is um, the link to where the form is at Google um, on my web page, and it looks like this. Um, and that means that Google is actually doing all the processing of the form too. It's similar um, to the form that um, that I had created um, using HTML, where if I click submit. Um, and I haven't um, filled in my name, it lets me know. Um, and so I can fill in my last name, and then I have to pick a date, um, and then I click Submit, and I get um, a nice response that my response has been um, recorded. And actually, here's the nice thing about Google. If I go to um, create my your own form um, actually this isn't where I want to be I need to be um, at Google Docs and and here's my test form and you can see that um, let's go back Here's my test form. That was an untitled one. But here's the nice thing about using Google is that it puts your data from your form into a spreadsheet so you can keep track of it more easily. The other thing you can do is you can edit the form. So you can go back to the form um, and you can edit it. And this is actually the only thing I don't like about using Google Forms is that when you're in the editing mode, the text is really small. Um, but you can edit, you know, you could add another question, you can get different kinds of questions like text or a paragraph of text, which is like text area in HTML, uh, multiple choice, check boxes, a scale, a grid. Um, and um, over it's over here under more actions where you get the choice to embed so if we select that we get that big long URL that takes you to your form at Google and the other thing that's nice is you can edit the confirmation so instead of just getting your response has been recorded you can say thanks for taking our survey we'll get back to you um, and just say save and now if I go back to um, the form and submit another response and just put in maybe XXX and S and submit, now we have thanks for taking our survey. So really easy to um, edit the response that users get after they take the survey. Another way to have someone else um, uh, create your form um, is to use uh, SurveyMonkey. And um, here's uh, SurveyMonkey. I created a, uh, a survey uh, for students to sign up for advising appointments. And one of the choices is embed. And I can um, customize it a little bit. So say I make it a little bit wider instead of just 500 pixels wide and then I say save and then again 
I get this code that I can copy into my own web page. Um, and this is a preview of what it looks like, um, or we can look at it here. Here's what it looks like pasted into my own web page. And again, if we look at the code, um, we don't get, um, we don't see the uh, HTML form elements, we just see this link um, to SurveyMonkey. And you can, this part is entirely editable, you know, you can take away um, this that says it was created by SurveyMonkey, um, and you can put in other information on your web page um, surrounding um, the form itself. Um, that might be more helpful to your users than simply sign up for advising. You know, you could replace this text with other text that's more customized for your specific users. So again, um, if you read the syllabus carefully, you see that in the final version of your redesigned website, you do need to include some type of interactive feature like a feedback form or a sign-up sheet. Um, something relevant to the organization whose site you are redesigning. And you can choose to hand code it using the HTML form elements, or you can choose to use a service like SurveyMonkey or Google Docs to create the form for you. And the advantages of using uh, HTML uh, the HTML coding is that you can customize it. You can really um, uh, control the look and feel of your form. But if you use Google or SurveyMonkey or some other service, they do the coding for you and you can think more about customizing the text, customizing the questions so you really um, get the data that you're trying to collect, the feedback that you're trying to collect from your users.